Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Digital Painting for the Complete Beginners series, episode number two. Yay, finally, for those of you who've been waiting. I know it's been a long time, I've been very busy lately, but I promise you guys that from now on I'll start uploading a lot more frequently and I'll have a lot more content on my channel. Now, some of you might ask, was this episode is going to be about? And hopefully, if you see on my screen, I got a shaded sphere on it. Um, so today we're going to go through just the fundamentals of light and um, shading and then on, in the next episode we'll probably go through um, blending colors for the fundamentals for that now hopefully most of you who are watching this episode checked out the first one if you're getting used to a tablet because we will be painting this fair sphere with a tablet uh, you could probably attempt it with a mouse as well but I wouldn't recommend it especially if you're getting into digital painting so the first thing we're gonna do before we get into any drawing and all that is just to go through the theory well like just the very fundamentals of the light and all that um, with you guys before we start to draw anything so as you guys can see I got a sphere right here on my screen and it's only black and white is just shaded and the only thing that makes it look anything like a uh, a sphere or a ball is the light and the shading so this is the reason why it's very important and uh, you guys should know at least the fundamentals of it especially once we get into matte painting and all that sort of stuff so the first thing that you should notice is that the light is coming if I get my brush out right here the light is coming from here hitting the sphere right here as you can see this is the brightest area so the light is hitting the sphere right here this is the brightest bit and then also as you can see because obviously it's circular I mean it's a sphere so all the shading will be the darkest on the bottom what you can also notice is that there is a highlight right on the bottom of the sphere and you might ask why now the reason for that is is because as you can see there is a shadow that the object is put in right here because it's sitting on the surface now the reason why there is a highlight right here is because when light hits what this object is sitting on so let's say this is a table or whatsoever when the light hits it from here oh, if I can draw a normal line when the light hits that surface like this it also let's say the light is coming from here as well what happens is that it reflects off this surface so basically there will always be a highlight around the edge of this um, sphere where the object is sitting on because um, the light is reflecting off this bit so now that we got down like the basic fundamentals, obviously where the light is coming from, this is the bit where it's going to be the brightest, where the light is hitting it, and the darkest bit is going to be where the light is not hitting it. But this only works with one light in. So let's say if there was a light in here as well, that was coming from here, obviously this bit would be bright as well. So this only works with single light. Now that we got this out of the way, I will just close this one and you guys can start doing it with me so what we're gonna do first of all like we always do is we're gonna go to window workspace um, we'll go in painting this time and then we're gonna go workspace and we're gonna go reset painting as you can tell everything that I changed around and all that stuff is back to default so you guys can follow me as well if you change stuff around and all that do the same thing and then you won't get lost so first thing we're going to go is go into a new document international paper A4 and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate my canvas 90 degrees and I'll also change my background colour to a dark grey so it's easier to see what I'm doing now most of you should already know how to do all these so I don't want to go into too much detail I'm just going to unlock my layer and another thing what we're going to do is we're going to close this stop window close it and as soon as you close it you should get the navigator right on the top 
um, right hand off your screen. Um, what we're also going to do is just make this a little bit bigger so it's easy to see because this little window for digital painting or painting or whatsoever is quite useful. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do if you if I just move this so that little thing don't pop out all the time that's for my tablet if you click and drag on your rectangular marquee tool um, just select the elliptical marquee tool and what we're going to do is hold down shift and just drag out a nice circle if you don't hold down shift then it will turn into a elliptical uh, shape. So if you hold down shift then it will make a nice circle for us so, like so and we're also going to make a new layer right here. Now what we're going to do is just pick up a brush and another thing we're going to do is right click and we're going to reset reset brushes there you go. Okay. So we got all the default brushes in here so you just pick probably this one Hardness is about, I don't know, 3% should do. Size, something that's not too big, like that one is too big. About, should be around 1000 pixels. Let's just put 1000 in because, yeah, 1000 pixels should do. And if you come in here, click on this brush icon you'll get your brush settings in so what I want you guys to do is turn off shape dynamics and turn everything else off if you have color dynamics or whatsoever on just turn it off because you're not going to need that you can leave smoothing on and that's it so what we're going to do is change our foreground color to black like so and turn down the opacity no, the opacity should be 100% and we'll turn down the flow to about 5%. That should do it. So now that we've got all this set up, we can start painting in this selection. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're just going to start off by shading in where obviously the shadow would be on our um, sphere. So be very gentle, make sure that the flow is quite low and um, just be very gentle with your movements so we don't want any really rough edges and also as you can see in our little window here um, it shows a smaller version of what we are working on so it will be easier to um, see things that we've done wrong or um, we might not notice some of the mistakes that we do but if you look in here I can see that this bit is a bit too bright still so I can just sort that out so now that we got the basic shading in what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this brush a little bit smaller you can spend hours on doing this but we're gonna make this quite quick for the sake of this tutorial and I'm just gonna brush in as you can tell it's quite rough so I'm just gonna turn down the opacity a little bit <coughs> sorry I'll turn it down to about 8% that should help me get a softer edge in here no it's still too rough um, if I just turn down the hardness to zero flow to about 2% 3% that should do it and then now I can start brushing in the darker values here. This bit is a bit too bright, so I'll brush that in a bit more. And don't don't worry about too much about your mistakes because after this we're going to start painting in the light values. So let's say I made a mistake here, um, where I made quite a lot of mistakes. Don't worry about it for now. Just get in the dark values. Make sure that it's roughly roughly right like so now once we got the dark values in we're just gonna get our we're gonna take this little arrow here and then we'll have our white in the foreground color change the brush back up to about thousand pixels like so and now what we're gonna do we're gonna do exactly the same thing but we're gonna start painting the light so save movement 
the light is coming from here so it would be the brightest here I'm just going to start painting in very gently the values and you can keep doing this you can just start doing this arc like so and then let's say you made a mistake you went too far you can switch back to your darker value like so and you can start painting in again until you feel like that you um, accomplished what you wanted and let's say oh, I think that bit is a bit too dark and I can see it in my little window that that bit is too dark so I can just make my brush a bit smaller make sure that I have white in my foreground colour and I can sort it out but I painted it too dark so if I just turn down the flow and just do it very very gently like so swap it back to black the flow is really low I'll put up my brush size a little bit and then I'll just paint it in a bit darker as you can see you can play around with this for as long as you want until you get the feel of what you're doing and um, make it helps you get used to your tablet as well because obviously this is episode 2 so if you guys haven't been playing around with your tablet too much and after the first episode you're still not um, too used to it then this should help you um, just get the movement right and um, getting used to that you're not looking at the screen while you're drawing so as you can tell there are like a few smudges here and there that I've done um, because I don't want to spend ages on doing this um, so after you got the basic shading in what you're going to do is we're going to draw in the, the bright spot where the light hits this thing which is going to be just about right here and just make sure that around this area there isn't any really fine um, I'll just turn my opacity back up just make sure there isn't any rough lines around here and it's all nice and smooth I'll just draw in my dark values on the bottom here because I kind of painted them over and also here it's a bit too too light like so and if you look at your little image right here if that looks about right then um, it's fairly correct but the smoother you get it the better it will look obviously um, so after we've done this we're going to do we're just going to make a new layer and we'll put that underneath the one where we just painted on you're going to go select inverse our selection so now the ball isn't selected anymore it's the cameras that selected gonna go back to the dark value so for the foreground color put up the flow a little bit put up the hardness a little bit and then we're just gonna paint in our shadow so obviously the light is hitting from here so the shadow will cast about somewhere here so if I just start painting that in like so Ooh. if I just make the size a little bit smaller and I'm not very good at painting shadows in but that should roughly do it so obviously it's going to be darkest at the bottom and then it will fade out over the top so it should look something like this if you do a quick one and if you zoom out if it looks alright when you zoom out that means you've done a great job also in here so you can get this like as you can tell it's not very super smooth you can zoom in very much and uh, get it all really nice and smooth make sure the values are right make sure the shadow is right but I don't want to sit here now and uh, <laughs> just paint with you guys because I think that would be super boring to watch but thanks for watching guys I hope this helped you out the next episode will be doing um, blending colors make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to me if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next episode